All right, guys, I do have a Tuesday morning editorial, and it involves that clip you saw at the very beginning. Uh, I will put a link to this news story I'm going to give you and the full 12 minute jail camera uh, security camera footage in the description box below. There's going to be two links, one to this story and one to the whole 12 minute arrest of this guy whose crime was riding a bike while intoxicated. I mean, technically you can get him on DUI, but his punishment was to get the shit beat out of him and he spent 19 days in the hospital. Why? He was running his mouth and the deputy shut it for him. What is the deputy, 13? I thought when you were 30 years old, you were over that. You know how many people yell shit at me and other cop watchers when we're out there recording the police and we just, hey, how you doing? Even give him a finger, so what? But to run over and start beating somebody because he said something to you. What are you, 14? That's just one of the things that bugs me is grow up. Okay, a little maturity. It's okay to yell back and forth. Yeah, why not? You know, hey, cracker. Yeah, I'm a saltine. Or am I a Ritz? Let me know. Am I a Ritz or am I a saltine? Am I high end or low end? What kind of cracker am I? You know, make some fun. Have fun with it. I know people go racism isn't fun. No, it's not. But when people yell racist things at you, when they yell the N-word at you, you go, what's up, my dear? You know, just to be fun. But no, you want to go beat the guy down and punch him in the head. And the problem, if you recall from the video clip you just watched a few minutes ago, law enforcement officers are guilty of it too. They want to arrest or punch you or beat you down or throw handcuffs on you simply because you're running your mouth. And that's what happened to this guy in the jail. It took two years, two years, two years for this cop to get charged. Why? Because the video surfaced and people were going, oh, now there's other cops in that jail. And when he attacks the guy, they're like, oh, another day in the jail. Bob's pissed again. Bob took another one out. I mean, there's no urgency with the other cops. But not only that, it took two years and video footage to get this guy charged. The other cops didn't tell on him. The other cops didn't say, yeah, it was recorded on camera. Bob just beat the shit out of this guy. No, they didn't say anything because the thin blue line is shoulder to shoulder. Gang, stand tall. We don't, we don't rat and we don't snitch. And this pisses me off watching that. That cop just beat the shit out of that guy. Spent 19 days in jail for what? Riding his bike while intoxicated. Two years it took when there's all kinds of cops watching this guy do this. It took two years to get this guy. And because of video footage, you see law enforcement. If you have time, get out your cameras and start rolling them. Yeah, you might get a boring video and go, oh, that was boring. He's just doing his job. But what happens that one time when that cop beats the crap out of somebody for no reason? Just shut your fucking mouth. You're under arrest and the guy's got blood all over his face and you're not recording. And then the cop says, well, he assaulted me and he grabbed my gun. I guess he did because there's no video footage showing otherwise. <clears throat> but when you're standing there recording and you go, no, he was just standing there, dude. He said, your mama and you beat him down. No, that's a lie. It's on camera. Always get your cameras rolling when law enforcement is around as you saw in that video clip. Let's watch it one more time and then I'm gonna to get to the editorial. All right guys, coming to us from KGW8. The mother of a man attacked by a Washington County Sheriff's deputy is breathing a sigh of relief. The deputy who was caught on camera assaulting Albert Molina is now behind bars himself. Esther Somerville said, my son Albert will get the justice he deserves after years of waiting. In March of 2018, deputies booked Albert Molina, an American of Mexican descent, for riding a bike while drunk. Security video shows Deputy Ryan Alden rushing Molina, throwing him against the wall, then to the ground. Molina suffered serious injuries that he still, still deals with today. Esther Somerville, his mother, said, quote, My son is waiting and he's getting mentally healed and working on having peace. Peace has been hard to come by. Deputy Alden got away with the assault for two years. Sheriff Pat Garrett, what a great name for a sheriff, 
said, quote, at the conclusion of the investigation, the district attorney's office believed that there was not enough evidence to proceed at the time. But we reviewed the case and that review did not result in policy violations. And I recognize that does not add up. Fast forward to May of this year, authorities were tipped off to an old racist email of Alden's. Investigators reopened Molina's case. Alden was charged with first degree official misconduct. On Thursday, the district attorney's office presented even more evidence to a grand jury that resulted in assault, unlawful use of a weapon, and official misconduct charges. Molina family attorney Greg Kafuri said, It never happens, so the question is, is this the beginning or just a fluke, something to be forgotten when the protests are gone? Molina's mother believes demonstrations locally and across the country played a major role in her son getting the justice he deserves. Esther Somerville said, quote, It's my son. I gave him breath. I want what's good for him, and justice is good for him. Alden turned himself in to the Washington County Jail Friday morning. He was booked and transferred to the Columbia County Jail for safety reasons. Bail is set at $250,000. Washington County settled with Molina, agreeing to pay him more than $600,000. So there you go. There's a couple of things I want to point out, and then I'll let you guys comment in the comment section below. But the sheriff, Pat Garrett, I love that name for a sheriff. He says at the conclusion of the investigation back when it happened, I guess he's saying, the district attorney's office believed there was not enough evidence to proceed at the time. We investigated ourselves and we found no wrongdoing. He did not result. It did not result in policy violations. So beating the shit out of a guy for just standing there running his mouth isn't against policy violation. I mean, you could just beat the crap out of people for running their mouth. That's policy with the sheriff's department there in Washington County. Wow. <laughs> And what about the other cops that just stood there? Don't they get charged huh, for complicity? I mean, they didn't say anything, apparently, or they lied because something didn't add up. Right. Why didn't something add up? Because the other cops didn't say shit. They were like, oh, fucking Bob's mad again. <laughs> hey, so what happened? I don't know. I had my head turned. And then Bob was on the floor and I go, whoa, what happened? Yeah, that's how it works, guys. When a cop does something bad, other cops go, Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Hey, what happened? They're not going to tell on their fellow cops. You fucking kidding? And I know some very professional uh, law enforcement officers. And I, I know some very nice law enforcement officers. Some very friendly law enforcement officers. Some people-oriented law enforcement officers. But I'm... And I like them. I mean, there's some deputies in this county that I really like. They're nice. They're cordial. They're polite. They're great guys. But my question at the end of the day is if they see a cop doing something like this guy, something bad of breaking the law, violating policy, are they going to step up and go, yeah, he violated fucking policy, man. He screwed up. Or are they going to go, well, you know what? The guy was this and the guy was that. And hey, you know what? It's, it's, it, was, it was necessary. See, that's where the scales of justice start tipping one way or the other. Are they going to say something? Or that's where the real test comes in. Because I'll tell you what, at my work, when somebody is rude to one of our clients, when one of our, my coworkers is rude to one of the clients or treats one of the clients with less respect than they should, I say something. I do all email the supervisor and go, you know what? So-and-so is very rude. That was rude. That person did not, you know, did not deserve that disrespect. I will say something because that's not what it's about. I'll tell you that in a heartbeat. Call me a snitch. I don't care. But when you're dealing with people in the capacity that this, these law enforcement officers are, you have to say something when one of your fellow officers commits a crime or violates departmental policy or violates the person's civil rights. And I'm not talking about something minor, like if a cop goes, fuck you, dick, you know, okay, he shouldn't do that. You know, bad, stop be more professional than that. We're, but I'm talking about when a 
deputy in a jail slams a guy against the wall who's just standing there. It looked like he may have flipped him off. So what? He gave him a finger. Hey, nice fingernail. You should clip it. You know, or something like that. Make a joke. Have fun with it. But no, this cop runs across, slams the guy into the wall, slams him on the ground. You know what the other deputies do? Not a fucking thing because it took two years to get this guy. We got you, Alden. And you know what you're going to get? Three years probation. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast every day. Thank you for watching.